Welcome back, guys, for more Timberborn. What are we going to do in this episode? Well, we were going to be building the filtration system, the water filtration system, which was going to take the good and bad water and separate them out. But after two days working on it, I still have not come up with a design that I'm happy with aesthetically. So I'm going to be, I'm going to be completely honest with you. This episode is going to be a filler. Uh, and I'm going to deal with the aftermath of building the hump or completing the hump because we had a few issues uh, if you look down here we've got uh, 16 beavers contaminated and six beavers are unwell well one of them's died so now we've only got 15 to deal with uh, we've also got issues around uh, the hump itself when when i started this up we had flooding issues I, if you haven't seen the last episode go watch the last episode for heaven's sake it's a, it's probably the best thing i've ever done i think uh, I, I, I ripped out the end water wheels and I missed this one right now, which tells me two things The first thing is that I'm blind and the second thing is that this is not causing a problem So that means we should be able to put them all back in That's what I'm thinking. Do you remember in the last episode? I said if I've got any sense at all I'll never ever touch this again. Well, guess what? Apparently I have no sense so, um, and I'm sure that doesn't come as a surprise to most of you. Right, I am going to throw in these water wheels. Now, do we, do we, a few questions. I'll try and answer a few questions in this video. Because you guys had, had some questions about, like, how it's working and what it's doing and certain issues. So, for example, um, these corners. Uh, somebody, left, somebody specifically left a comment saying, um, are they producing less power? because the water is coming out the side of the water wheel. Water wheel power is measured at the center point. Okay, so the fact that the water is coming in behind the center point means all the water is going through the center point and it should be producing exactly the same power as the one next to it. So let's have a look. So this is producing uh, 1285, 1284, and yeah, exactly the same, 1284, 1284. Uh, and we can check on the other end because the other end is is the, exactly the same. And this one's producing twelve, what, twelve seventy eight right now, twelve seventy nine, twelve seventy eight, twelve seventy nine. Right. So, uh, the, so there's definitely no loss of power going around the corners. Awesome. Right. I think we should get our beavers um, actually like doing some building. Okay. The ends. Uh, we had some flooding on the ends when it was starting up and the reason I've, I've i've given it some thought the reason that we were getting flooding was prior to it reaching steady state it was pulsing and what i mean by pulsing is water was getting pumped up it was flowing down and then it needs to get to the bottom um and and have the effect of the magic tiles i'll, I'll talk a little bit about magic tiles in this as well um, because the magic tiles work kind of backwards. The water has to reach them before the effect starts and it travels backwards up the system. And if the system hasn't, hasn't got enough headroom, you can say, look, I mean, we've got loads of headroom there. But when it's, when, it's, when it's starting, when it's running down, it kind of backs up until it gets to the end. The magic tile effect takes effect and then the water level drops and it goes backwards. You've seen that in previous videos. So, yeah, the, the, we just didn't have enough headroom in the system. So what I'm going to do at this end is just put um, a raised wall on this end and some kind of moat along here. Um, how it's going to work, I'm not 100% certain. Uh, um, yeah, no I, no, I think I know how it's going to work. Right, so the first thing I've got to do is um is rip out these paths uh, don't rip out the other stuff and of course i do this just at the time when the beavers want to come around and build the water wheels so that's that's really smart i'm making good decisions in this episode like ignoring the beavers. like i should do the beaver contamination first shouldn't i really you know what let me um let me finish ripping these out I think this wall needs to extend all the way around the system to make sure that we don't we like if I ever have to start this again and god I hope I never have to that there's there's no chance of any flooding because later on when I change things when I when I start to really develop this 
if we were to get flooding, it would cause major, major problems. So, um, you know what? Let me pause it so that we've still got contaminated beavers to deal with. They're not, they're not all dead by the time I get to them. And um, so this wall is just going to be like, like this all the way up. So we should be adding four tiles to each level. And it looks like we are until we get to the top. And then now do I do with do I do this with levees or do I do this with terrain? I think maybe on the top level, maybe we do we do it with terrain? Maybe. I'm thinking maybe we do. Yeah. Yeah, we do. We'll use terrain. Uh, it'll give our give our lazy terraformers something to do. So I'm gonna put this in all the way along hit my god and it's a long way okay so that's done on both sides and i've put in stairs and paths and linked it to the top so that they've got access so they should still be able to work on the water wheels which is a good thing right the front what am i gonna do at the front well i think i think i've figured out what i'm gonna do at the front we're going to have um a wall now, it's a little bit more difficult because um i want to hook all of these together with a power line um, I think, I mean, for, it's partly aesthetic and it's partly like if I ever want to do anything with it, I think having them all hooked up would be a good thing. So let's, um, so let's do it. Let's do it. So what am I going to have? I'm going to do this with levies, I guess. Uh, so this will come out like this and then it's going to come along here. Yeah. And this outer wall needs to be one higher and that will give us our flood protection. But um, we need we need another layer here that I can put put the power on. Yeah. Now, how am I going to do that? Well, I'm going to do that with uh, four way connectors on each of these and then just run a power line along there. So, yeah, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. And then we put uh, a layer on here and then grab a path and put a path along the top. Now that should mean that they can get to everything and build everything, and it should be a pretty easy job. That's something we can just let the beavers get on with. Right, so I've got to do that all the way along, and then when I get to this end, then it becomes interesting, <laughs> because I need to make sure that any flooding water goes back into here. Now, I I suppose I can just I can just do it like that, and then I guess I move these stairs back and just bring this forward. Maybe a, a couple of tiles, maybe. I mean, to be honest, it shouldn't need to come forward. In fact, it, like, does it need to even come forward any more than that? I don't think so. I don't think so. Now, if it floods over, over here, then we've got problems. But that should never happen because if... Um, like, if I'm going to empty the system, then I'll empty this first. So we've got two tile depth anyway. Oh, I thought I was going to have a real problem. Because I've got to connect this path to to this path that comes down here. And then we've got this, this power thing in the way. But this never happens to me. It really is. All I need to do is just put the stairs down there. And problem solved. Wow. Something actually worked really easily. That just never happens to me. It just never happens. Okay, so that's all done. That's all in. Uh, we can we can crank this up and let the beavers get to work on that. Having done that, now we can get to work on the uh, on the beaver. Oh yeah, you know what? Slow it down because we've still got the sick beavers. We've got seventeen contaminated beavers and four are unwell. So the the way that we solve this is by putting in decontamination pods. So take a look at this thing. It's it's like a. It's like a, a, a lava-filled bubble bath. <laughs> okay. So I was thinking of slapping them in round here. Um, which is maybe not the worst idea in the world. Have we? Oh, yeah, I've got access up here. If I get rid... You know what? That's what we'll do. First thing we'll do, we'll get rid of this. I, th I mean, I th I'm thinking this is going to be a temporary thing anyway. So let's just run... That's not what I want. I want a path. Let's run... Uh, oh, there's no, there's no kind of nice, clean way to do this. You know what? Let's start with this. Let's start with this guy. I want to see how this works because there's, there's just been an, there was an update 
on the 14th, I think was the last update. And they made a change to these pods because they, they weren't working particularly well. Beavers were either spending too long in them or they weren't doing anything. Or So we'll see. We'll see if we can actually get them to work. Boom, boom. What do we, so what do we think? One, two, three, four, five. Should I put in 12? I guess. There we go. 12 of them. I, I've got to be honest. I think the I think the devs have still got some work to do on the whole decontamination or contamination and decontamination thing. It's um, and it's a difficult one. Uh, it takes me back to oxygen not included when they in introduced diseases. Um, the way they did it initially killed the game for me, and I, I literally stopped playing because it was just it was just not fun. And they need to be careful that this is. A challenge but not a nightmare um, and like at the moment to be honest you can just ignore it. It, it, it it's only if like if like 50% of your colony was contaminated well yeah then you've got a problem but like then you've got a problem anyway because why is 50% of your colony contaminated well we're just waiting on a few planks oh they've brought the planks boom and there is the first decontamination pod now it's filled with extract so I suppose in the contamination, there's some element of it, which is actually good, which is the extract. And um, taking a bath in it cures you from already having taken a bath in it. <laughs> yeah, okay. I don't understand. Oh, really? Oh, they need power. Okay. We need power to those. Um, <laughs> okay, great. How on earth are we going to get power all the way over here? That was a really bad place to build them. Oh, well. Okay. Well, I've built them now, so I guess I've got to get power over here. Um, actually, actually, I say that we do have power here. Haha. -ha. So, we'll go around the corner and then bring the power out along here, I guess. So, that goes down there. That goes down there. Hook them together. And once they build that, we've got power. Hooray. Uh, while the beavers are getting on with that, what else? What else do I need to do? Well, part of the aftermath of this is that we need to connect the power somehow to the rest of our colony. And I have made no provision for this whatsoever. And I've realised, like, like this instant, I have realised that doing this has not left me any way of getting the power out I think I can do it just. Okay, here's, here's what I'm thinking. So if I take out that stretch, I'm gonna have to do this on both sides. If I have um, the power coming around like that, and then bring it back in like that. This needs to be a four way, doesn't it? Yes, it does. Um, pop a four-way in there and then throw in a step up and then I want another step up don't I the, the thing then is I need to figure out like what's my terrain level gonna be and like how's the frontage gonna look and stuff because I've got to do the same on the other side as well um, so do like do I lift this up so that I've got a, a little ledge like I had before? And I think the answer is yes. I think the answer is yes. So that means, br oh, wow. Yeah, this is not nothing. This is not nothing. So we'd have to bring this up to, say, this level. Well, a little bit more elegant would be nice. But that would get the job done. That would get the job done. Run the power in. Run the power along here. Oh, get rid of that little bit of path. And that would give us power into the colony. Okay, well, I think I just need to let them kind of get on and do that. Um, I'm not going to do the other side. I'm just going to... I will have a single power connection from for now. But I will mirror that on the other side at some point in the future. So I've just noticed the uh, the power requirement for these decontamination pods, which I had neglected to look at. There are a hundred 
They're a hundred horsepower each. My God. Wow, that's... Now, the stupid thing is that we've got all the power in the world and yet, like, getting it over here is actually a problem. Uh, I've got a power line there, but it's a case of getting it over there. Yeah, that... Like, I've got to say, putting these, putting these pods over here, not the smartest idea I've ever had. So, how the hell am I going to do this? Uh, and I get... Okay. Yeah, I know how I'm going to do it. I know how I'm going to do it. We will simply demolish... Uh, yeah. We'll demolish this path here. Um, do I get rid of this engine? And I'm thinking, yeah, I do. Yeah, get rid of that engine. Run dynamite all the way along here. Well, they're doing it. Despite me disconnecting virtually all the worker buildings and all the hauler buildings, which is not the smartest move, but <laughs> it needed to be done. Here they come. Yeah, we get this dynamite here. Yeah, it'll be fine. It'll be fine. And I, I, I had a broken connection over here. Uh, this, well, I've now put in a four-way, uh, but there was a, a broken connection there. So uh, now it's working. This is turning. This is all completed. So these should be powered again. Yes, they are. And now all of our decontamination pods should be powered. And they are. Oh, and look. Look at all of our beavers. Having a good soak. <laughs> well, they seem to be enjoying it, which is good news. Yeah, contaminated by bad water. So this is his contamination bar. Uh, let's see. They're all... They're all pretty high. So I guess we'll see, like, how long does it take to cure them? Well, the good news is that it seems to work pretty fast. Old Lujin here is already down to about 50% contamination. So I'm figuring, like, maybe a couple of days in the decontamination pods and, and people should be cured. Well, I'm pleased to be able to report that our, our builders are on it. They've already got these paths done on both sides, which gives us access to, like, the whole place. And, oh, and we are getting water wheels put in. We've already got three on this side. Well, we had one originally, so we've had two put in, but that means we've got three. Uh, yeah, they're working on that end, not this end. All right, cool. The, oh, look at this. The terraformers have been filling this in. The nicest thing is that they've got access to the whole thing, but it, they have got to haul the dirt up themselves. And like the closest dirt, <laughs> I don't even know where the closest dirt is. But that I don't mind because I can just, to be honest, I can just leave the game running and eventually they will get it done. Um, I need to get these turned on so that we've actually got, how much dirt have we got? Uh, let's see, we've got 1K of dirt left. So I'm going to have to get these things back on. We've got 36 bots, though. Now, uh, how long is it going to take? I was going to say, how long is it going to take to get the power on? But we are very close to being connected, aren't we? Yeah. The last connector's getting built, I think. Yes, boom. And that's it. We've got power. We've got power to the colony. Hell yeah. Look at this, we're up to 329. <laughs> I wonder how high the power is going to get when we get all of the wheels done. Have they done all the ones on this side? No, we're still at still at three on that side. But they have done, oh, two on this side. So, yeah, the power's, the power's going to go up. We should, whoa. wonder if we'll get to 350. Um, I don't think so. One, two, three, four, five. And six on this side. Eleven... No, it should get up to about 340-something. Low, low 340s, but yeah, 340 power. Wow. Okay, so we've got the power, which means that I can now get rid of these. Uh, what I'm going to do for now is just pause them. And yes, I am using the P hotkey to pause these. You know, it's really funny. Um, I get lots of comments with people telling me the hotkeys, which I usually don't use because I want people to see what I'm doing, right? So I just 
man, you know, pause them with the mouse. Uh, and then the, when I when I when I've got like a load to do, and I do do use a hotkey, I then get people going. How did you do that? <laughs> you can't win. Right, we have got tons of power, so let's get these turned on. And I'm going to use the hotkey again. Okay. We've still got 12 bots left. Awesome. So now we're going to be producing dirt. How much? Do, oh, yeah, look, we're down to 38 dirt. So we actually do need those running. Oh, I need to turn that on as well, don't I? Yeah, turn the control tower on. And they're running. Woohoo! We are producing dirt. Awesome. Now, I've got an idea of how I can speed things up. They've done half of this, but it's taken a while. I was thinking maybe I could speed up the other half. Um, because we've got this path going around here, I could break this path. So what I'm thinking to do is this. If I put a little path across there. Yeah. Yeah, this is going to work. And then get rid of three sections of that. I've then got just enough room to throw a large industrial pile up here and set it to obtain dirt, make that highest priority. Oh, that'll make this half so much quicker. Well, here come the haulers. Yeah, the haulers bringing all the stuff up. That's giving us the dirt and the bloop bloop start. Yeah, look, at, look how quickly this is gonna get done now. Awesome, okay. Uh, with that done, there is, uh, there's one more thing that I want to do in this episode because all of this now is just a case of, like, just let them do it. I, I can walk away because I, I, I want to take a little break because the, um, the 16 hours a day, seven days a week is catching up with me. So I, I'd like to take a little break and have, like, half a day off or something. So what I'm thinking is uh, let, them, let them build this. I'll just walk away, let them build it. There's another big project and this is the this is the foundations of the water filtration system. So um, I've got to remember how wide this is. <laughs> I don't remember. Uh, I can figure it out, I guess. Let's see. I need uh, one, one, two, three, and then one, one, two. That's how wide I want it. Okay, let's flip it around. Um, how am I going to... I think I'm going to do it coming in this direction um because yeah i'm guessing they're going to bring it up here i'll put i'm i may put a stick uh, will i put a stick i don't know we'll see well it doesn't really matter like don't worry about it sky uh so i'm going to build this up here and we're going to go up to where up to oh well the, the top we're going to go up to that level and then we're going to go higher uh so Let's take it up again. Now, uh, now I can bring this out to here without any problems. So we'll fill that in for sure. And then bring this all the way out to there and build this up. Okay, so as you can see, this is going to take a little while because this is going to go uh, around here and around here. Yeah, this is a pretty big foundation. So, <laughs> it's going to take me a while. I, I just want to get up to the top, though, on this side. Let's see if this get up to the top. There we go. Okay, so we're up to the top. Um, well, well, no, that's not the top, is it? No, it's not. We've got to keep going. Uh, it, it's going to go higher. So, let's bring it up to the highest level. There we go. So that is how high it's going to be. And it's going to go around here and around here. Now, uh, I can't do this part yet because of the bad water. Um, and I've got to figure out how on earth I'm going to do that. It's, it's kind of tricky. Now, uh, can I get... A, this is what... We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> no. No, I can't. I'm going to have to do... What I was thinking was, can I bridge across to the other side? And the answer is no. No, I can't. So I'm going to have to do it. Yeah, I'm going to have to do a scaffold. Oh, that's not going to be tremendous fun. 
Okay, well, it, it is what it is. This is the thing when, you, when you're doing these stupid mega projects. So I'm going to have to have, well, I could, I could do, I could do two and then do bridges, but you know what? It's, it's actually less materials, I think, to just do this. So, so that's what I'm going to do. We'll have this ridiculous scaffold going up here. Like the, oh, and, and then we want a two at the top. There we go. And then I can get back to putting in the, the regular terrain. So that is right to the, yeah, it's right to the edge. So the next section is going to come out like this. Right. Uh, let me finish putting that in. Okay. So it's in. Uh, it's only partially in now because this is going to come further out here. Exactly how far it comes out here, I don't know. That's part of the um, aesthetic des des design decisions that I'm still wrestling with. Uh, I, and I'm, I'm wrestling with this this scaffold as well and thinking, do I die? Do I just have one going across there? Uh, it'll be slower, but yeah, I, I, I think I'm going to get I think I'm going to get rid of most of this. Let's see if I can get the camera in the right place. There we go. I think we'll just have one going across there. So, I, I mean, as long as they can get across, that, from there, they'll be able to build those three. It'll be a little bit slower for the terraformers, but it'll be quicker for the builders, and the builders, frankly, have got enough work to do around the place. It's, the problem is that there's nowhere that I can put in a dirt pile, really, unless I built... I could build a scaffold here. Yeah. May, you know what? That's not necessarily the worst idea. Now, if you want to see what I do when I've built this, then um, you're going to have to come back for the next episode. Guys, <laughs> thanks for being with, here with me while I um, kind of patch things back together in the aftermath of the hump. And uh, yeah, this is... I, if I can get this right, this fil water filtration system is going to look pretty special. We'll see if I can do it. I'll catch you for the next one. Peace out.